All right, so today I'm gonna be piping this guy in. Um, this is that water skid. Okay, looks like electricians. They said they weren't gonna have this done till tomorrow night, but it would appear that they have it hooked up. Let's see, L4 D2 23. Hell yeah, dude, let's go look at that and see if they have it turned on. I'm assuming it's just breakered off, but let's go see. All right, I'm assuming that's in this room. L4 D4, L4 D2, open this up, 23, boom, right there. Oh, it shows that it's on. So, remote glycol feeder. All right, so we should have power there. So I guess before I start um, piping that in, let me go check power, make sure, see if they, I'm sure they didn't run power to the switch or anything. Let's go check that. Okay, let's grab this. The old fucking one-handed monster. Get this shit out of the way. Let's put this over here. Alright, put this over here, I guess. So, oh, they put another screw in it down there. Those fucking bastards. Oh, no shit. Okay, so they hooked it up to the switch and everything. Okay, okay. So, switch is off. Alright, so we get the old meter. have uh, let's see try here and here oh, what's it see? Oops. uh hold on all right so it turns out there's not 115 there looked in here not there and then looked over here and everything's in there but uh, the breaker's on I'm assuming they just haven't tied it into the breaker yet that's fine um, so what I'm gonna do is just work on doing all of this basically we're gonna come down put in ball valves bring that down and into this ball valve um, so if I can get an angle on it I will if not then I'll just have to show the finished product
Okay, so here we have, there we go. Here we have the finished product. So you can see my lines came down. I tied in that 90 right there, put in two ball valves right here, teed it off, down, and then into um, this skid. And I don't know if you noticed, but I, I threaded in this piece first and then welded on it. Um, that way I didn't overheat anything over here right so I welded this piece first threaded it in and then did all my welds over here that way I didn't overheat all that over there um, let's see let's do this fucking straightness check I am a little bit off I think uh, it looks pretty straight um, so this is just an auto makeup tank let's talk about this thing real quick um, so basically super simple so you have a flow switch right here which this comes down over to there and then you have another flow switch or basically a, it's like a continuity switch down in here let me see right there right and that comes over into here right this is basically just your electrical and then you have essentially a low pressure switch so if you look at your schematic right you got your 115 coming in right here one leg of it goes into your switch which is right here okay so we'll go on to there that's our switch the other side just goes to our common right and then you'll notice it comes in goes through a float switch which is basically that little thing down there it's like a continuity switch and then your pressure switch so this float switch is a close on rise right so that means that this tank has to be filled up a certain amount in order to close that switch and then this pressure switch is a close on fall which means the pressure has to drop i still have to set that thing down there but the pressure has to drop but once those two things are closed then it'll energize our pump contactor which will energize our pump um, but essentially what's happening is you have one line for one rack one line for the other rack you got these ball valves for isolation so when the pressure gets too low that pump's going to turn on and it's going to pump up and these lines go to the return lines on the glycol lines that are out on the sales floor so when that pressure gets too low it should automatically start filling right now how it knows which one to put it in i don't think it does actually i think you have to keep these off and then when you want to go fill it um you turn the one on that's low so like if this is d and d's low on glycol i would turn this on it would sense the low pressure and then pump it up because if not then this would just be an equalization line between both racks okay okay so i bet there's a way hmm let's think no because there's only one pump i was gonna say i bet there's a way to where it's like completely autonomous but with this setup, I don't think there is. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. I think I'm gonna make this its own video uh, just cause it ended up being a little bit longer than what I expected. Went over this, this fucking fill tank, did a bunch of piping. So I'll edit it all. And if it ends up being about the length of, of like a video, a standard video, then I'll keep it. But other than that, and as always, fucking like, subscribe, do the thing. I appreciate it. Later.